हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स यस मेनी पीपल वर आस्किंग मी मैडम प्लीज टॉक अबाउट प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स यस बट आई एम श्योर दैट इफ यू वॉच दिस वीडियो प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स you need not to search any other presentation skills related video i'll give you a depth and a solid information but stay connected with me as i told you this could be a little bit depth but i wanted to give you the entire information related to the presentation now coming to the presentation skills who needs this presentation skills everyone school teachers college lecturers professors political leaders and on stage you wanted to speak something either on your freshers day college day or as a chief guest you want to speak something or you want to give a presentation on your paper paper presentation especially for college students for everyone or in a seminar as a guest speaker you wanted to speak anything for everyone this presentation skills are must without presentation skills you may be having a lot of knowledge but it won't be much effective unless you add this presentation skills that is important a simple example i'll give you suppose say, there is a beautiful cake prepared by me but if you taste it the taste may not be good whereas on the other other side the cake is totally spoiled not good appearance is not at all good but the taste is good which one do you prefer good one appearance is good or which is not good which one do you prefer which looks beautiful which looks tempting which is decorated with lot of items that you prefer it because of the presentation what is matter is here what is going to matter is your presentation so that is why your presentation should be smart sweet and gun point it must reach the audience in that way you have to give the presentation now i'll tell you a few things related to the presentation first thing is that presentation functions what are the functions of presentation please remember this 5 w's 5 w's it will give you picture clarity about the presentation first one is why why do you want to give presentation what is the purpose what is the object you want to influence you want to inform or you want to educate or you want to share your feelings you want to empathize it what is the purpose what is the object that is we say it as a why why do you want to give the presentation important object object of your presentation second one who who are your audience who are your audience are they school children are they college students are they employees are they normal people like a political wanted to give, leader wanted to give a speech in front of many people that could be uh, one reason means normal people question arises here who who is your audience so sometimes your audience may be your students or college students or school students or maybe your co friends or you have done a project work on any particular topic on the topic your friends faculty members principal hod is all are sitting they may be your audience and sometimes your audience may be uh, normal people uh, in uh, in a political gathering you are speaking so then normal people you will find it so like who is your audience that is very much one where where do you want to give your presentation where you are going to give the presentation is it in your college seminar or is it open auditorium is it in any seminar hall or is it at somewhere where you wanted to give the presentation so that you must have an idea location place and what they are providing are they providing all the visual effects like ppt presentation i can and i can show the videos i can present it and board is available i can use the graphics all these things do you have all these facilities this also you must know at this level only where you are giving what kind of facilities you are having and next when when you are going to give the presentation for teachers daily presentation professors daily presentation and sometimes occasionally when you are giving so that is different so when you are going to give that particular presentation maybe you are a student being a student you wanted to give presentation on your uh, project or you have done uh, phd 
there you are going to present your thesis so that could be so that is why important thing is that when you are going to give the presentation what date what time according to that you need to have proper preparation like what needed and what you have to arrange it how you have to prepare and practice in front of mirror so all these things are required so that is why you must know when you are going to give the presentation and next what what are you going to present it so what are the important things you are having so that is also you have to collect it like what kind of things are available where you are giving the presentation so what are you going to present it how you are going to present it so step by step all the details you must know it so these five w's if you know it that you can say it as a presentation functions to give a presentation what is important is only two skills are important that is need two things or need two skills important skills one thing is that clarity of thoughts on which topic you are going to speak clarity maybe it's related to the uh, subject or it's related to general topic or it's related to your uh, thesis it's related to your, to your project so related to that you need to have a clarity understanding what i have done what i am going to speak what i have to present it so that is clarity of thought if you have the clarity of thought if you have good command over your topic the next thing comes to good communication skills and body language remember always unless you communicate properly no one will understand no one will show their attention also because your communication skills are not up to the mark it's not clear a common man cannot understand so that is why always use simple easy language which can be catched by all the audience even below average student a common man can understand your language in that way your communication skills should be and at the same time body language also before you speak your appearance is going to give a impression to the audience that is why always please maintain a good appearance decent appearance and also body language maintaining the eye contact suppose many many are there so look at everyone and speak comfortably if only few are there just maintain the eye contact with them don't ignore any corner of the hall so everyone you have to address properly by maintaining proper eye contact and also voice modulation is very important here voice modulation continuously if you speak people cannot understand they can't bear their concentration that is why you have to give some gaps modulation of voice sometimes raising your voice yes this point i wanted to speak and slowly coming down so that's we call it as a voice modulation and giving pauses just like atal bihari vajpayee ji giving little pauses not too much a little pauses sometimes means you are giving a gap to the audience to understand what you are saying so all these things voice voice modulation and uh, you are uh, your eye contact gestures hands how you are using the hands and the legs movement of your uh, body you can if you are having a very big hall then you can have comfortable movement like from one place to another place you can have movement so that shows that uh, the speaker is very confident about the topic so have a normal movements cool movements but not all the time continuously a little bit and using your hands my eye contact smile all these things are very very much important that is good communication skills and body language now coming to the main topic that is format of presentation how you have to present your skills or your topic how do you want to present it here main three things three steps three stages of presentation skills the first one is that opening middle and conclusion how do you open it a good beginning is half done if your beginning is good half of your work is completed you heard this always remember in the beginning you have to attract the audience how do you want to attract with your talk give them that give them a confidence that what you are going to speak that makes a lot of impact on their mind it will be useful for them 
uh, sometimes you have to press the words reiterate the words and give them a confidence that just focus 15 minutes i am going to give you entire understanding about this particular topic like you give them the confidence in that way and in the beginning you can attract the audience by saying any kind of uh, good jokes or otherwise good sayings and taking any example or you are example any interesting uh, uh, quiz question something like that so that creates interest to the audience yes the speaker is something is going to speak so in that way create a good impression you know that first impression is the best impression that is why beginning you have to attract the audience first two to three minutes is going to decide that what you are going to speak whether the going uh, audience are going to connect with you or not that is going to decide within the first two three minutes only so that is why these two three minutes please carefully plan write it how you are going to start how you are going to give your introduction in the introduction means opening in the opening itself only you have to give your introduction what's your name my name is so and so confidently you speak and i'm doing so and so and i'm going to present on this this 10 minutes is going to make a lot of impact this is going to give you good knowledge and i'll make you to understand i'm sure if you focus 10 minutes you can understand very well like this kind of impact a good words you use it opening and in the opening introduction remarks introduction re remarks also you can make it introductory remarks in the sense suppose who have given you this opportunity to speak just thank them and uh, how you got this opportunity and what you are going to speak and uh, thank the audience and everyone in the opening itself only take any sayings as i said so that is important your introduction and a light introduction about the subject and uh, thanking the organizers and if someone already spoke about the same kind of topic so you can just take their rapport of the people who spoke on that particular topic that also you can take that everything comes under the introductory remarks then after that object of presentation this is also in the beginning only what is the object why do you want to give a lecture what is the why, why do you want to give the presentation that object you have to mention it very clearly and also rapport with the audience always as i told you first two three minutes you have to maintain a good rapport so then they'll be connecting to you they'll show their interest you can draw the attention of the audience that is important that is going to happen only in the beginning opening and i'll also tell you suppose if you have uh, 30 minutes of time for your presentation you have to uh, divide this 30 minutes differently like uh, opening opening say 3 to 5 minutes 3 to 5 minutes for opening say 5 minutes are humid and second thing comes to middle main part main object main object of the presentation that is middle so for that middle you can spend 25 minutes or 20 to 25 minutes you can it depends on you how much time you have and how do you want to allocate it. Suppose say I am keeping 25 minutes. And then lastly conclusion. For conclusion I want to spend 5 minutes. Means half an hour. 5, 25, 30 or oh, 35 it is coming now. So then we will make it 20 presentation 20 minutes main presentation 20 minutes introduction uh, introduction 5 minutes closing 5 minutes you can increase or decrease whatever wherever you want whatever you want but uh, planning should be like this so that is the perfect presentation planning now coming to the middle opening is over now now middle so how you wanted to speak in the middle middle is the main object main subject of that particular topic now this presentation you have to go in depth don't miss any topic but every topic you have to go step by step then automatically you are going to cover the topic properly so that is main body of the presentation and here you have to take 
examples more examples you add it already someone has done some experiment or in thesis or somewhere you found it in google or somewhere so those kind of examples are live examples according to your topic take this examples and also visual effects visual effects means you can show sometimes a video sometimes audio or sometimes any kind of uh, graphs uh, or you can use a board also white board with marker and you can use even the chart also so that would be easy for you to present it whatever is required all the aids you have to keep it with you examples visual aids whatever is having powerpoint presentation do you have use it and uh, involve the audience so that could be possible with this middle of the presentation we have to uh, go a little bit depth and step by step slowly connect each and every point to the audience and in mid between your presentation you can just uh, say that are you following any doubt shall i repeat it hope you are understanding keep on using this kind of sentences that is going to connect your audience so that's about the middle of presentation and lastly conclusion conclusion is the just like a power punch power punch of any presentation that power punch should be always powerful effective people will remember opening and conclusion mid conclusion so how you are opening and how you are concluding that they are going to remember long period so how you have to conclude it always remember that summarize the topic i spoke half an hour or one hour or two hours what i spoke wrap up that so that's entire topic summarize it in 2 to 3 minutes summarize it explain them once again so that they'll recollect it yes you you have covered all these things summarization this is very much important even for teachers lecturers professors everyone they have to do this and then invite queries this is also important question and answer session you can say it as a q and a session so this is inviting the queries uh, say i spoke about any particular topic 20 minutes or one hour i spoke now do you have any doubts i welcome your doubts if any doubts please raise your hand raise your voice please express your views any doubts any suggestions you can say word suggestions also any doubts any suggestions this is very much important invite the queries and when you are inviting the queries how do you answer how do you receive the audience that is also important when someone is asking any question please remember that slowly understand your presence of mind is very much important what they are asking what they are expressing just focus on that give them cool comfortable and uh, correct answer if sometimes you may not be knowing the answer then you can say i'll just uh, Uh, refer it i'll get back to you please give me your mail id or phone number definitely i'll get back to you that is the right way to answer if you do not know the correct answer are you getting it so like inviting queries please you have to keep at least 5 minutes time for this okay and thanking the audience and organizers lastly thank the audience that uh, they have a lot of patience most of the time i generally use few sentences like i may not be a good speaker but i'm sure you all are good listeners you all are having good good listening skills you have a lot of patience thank you for your patience thank you for your cooperation and uh, organizers thank the organizers who have given you this opportunity don't forget to thank them okay so this is presentation where you are giving outside if you are giving presentation inside of your classroom or a seminar hall somewhere else where no one is there no organizers are there this is not required right, ignore it just thank the students or thank the audience that's enough okay so this is about the format of the presentation hope you got a good understanding remember one thing whenever you wanted to give presentation if you prepare it all these things like this then later you have to overcome the stage fear how to overcome the stage fear if you are perfect in your topic you will not have any fear at all just practice practice in front of mirror 
nowadays uh, you can use the cell phones and record your presentation speak many times and listen listen to yourself and give suggestions by yourself or take the suggestions from somebody who is expertise in that particular topic so take their suggestions take your suggestions automatically you can refine your language you can refine your presentation this is possible technology is there use it fear never say that i have fear because this is your topic you are presenting audience do not know anything when you assume that audience do not know anything i am expertise i prepared very well i know very well i can speak i practiced well then automatically you will never find any kind of fear the right way to overcome the fear okay first take the screenshot or pause the video and note down hope the talk is useful got an understanding wherever whatever you wanted to present it now plan it like this go and give your presentation either seminars or any other place whenever you wanted to give and after that please comment it in the comment box that how you have utilized it is it useful lecture i just want to know your comments and i love to read your comments stay connected i'll come up with another interesting topic till that period keep smiling keep shining and have a bright career good luck